hello there and welcome to my channel so i thought i'd share this interesting phenomena with you all this is my first time experiencing it i don't know if any of you has experienced it before but you let me know in the comment section when i'm done sharing with you so the plant you see right here is supposed to be a mushroom pepper as the name implies it's supposed to be shaped in form of a mushroom so last year i got the seeds from a store-bought variety as in store bought uh, uh, um, peppers and i planted it and it was it gave me very good yield and the flavor was nice it's a hot pepper but not too hot and not too much just somewhere in between so I, I really liked that and then i decided to save the seeds and then so these ones i have here are grown from the seeds of my uh, harvest last year but then i didn't <laughs> think of the fact that bees can actually cross pollinate because i planted lots of peppers and all of them were in one spot i had them like i had these um mushroom peppers i had a cayenne peppers i had jalapenos i had portugal peppers and I, I, I had at least up to four or five different varieties of peppers and so today <laughs> the peppers this my supposedly uh, mushroom pepper this is what is giving me now. It's supposed to be in the shape of a mushroom. But I don't know what mix. <laughs> what new variety of pepper I have created. Inadvertently. <laughs> so it's like long. Longish. And kind of a, a little bit wrinkled. I don't know what it's going to taste like. But thankfully it's growing. I don't mind as long as it turns out to be a hot pepper. So I don't know if you've had that same experience before. I thought I'd share this with us. If you are, you are planning to grow, let's say you have um, a pepper variety that you like and you want to save the seeds, it would be a good idea for you to space out the plants, maybe if possible, in a way that um, bees don't cross-pollinate varieties you may not want them to cross-pollinate with. But if you're not um, planning to save seeds from your harvest, then it shouldn't be a problem. So I thought I'd share this with you. Have you ever had this experience before? If you have, please do let me know. So this is how my cayennes are turning out. <laughs> they still look like regular cayennes. <laughs> uh, so, thanks for watching. And uh, I probably will give us updates on what the flavor is like by the time it ripens and um, I'm able to harvest. So quickly... <laughs> This is what I think is taking after. This one is the, the Portugal pepper. One of the peppers I planted last year. This one I got it from seed. So I think probably this particular variety influenced my um, um, mushroom pepper. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to get more updates on container gardening. And uh, all the best. Bye.